Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to look at Camtasia Studio. This is version 8. Now, a basic introduction on Camtasia is this is one of the most powerful screen recording tools. And why most people use this is because it makes life easy. You can record, you can not only record your screen, but you can edit your videos and add various effects like zoom and transitions and callouts using Camtasia Studio itself. So, uh, this is how it looks. This is the basic layout as soon as you open it. You have your menus on top. You have a window here that shows you anything that you've imported or it shows you stuff like library, callouts, zoom and pan, etc. You have your preview window here on top, the screen, where anything that you add in your timeline, which is this, shows up here. And your timeline here is used to make basic edits like cutting up a video, deleting a certain portion, adding another video to it, adding images, audio, etc. So right now we're going to look at a basic video editing in Camtasia Studio. So what do we have to do first? We need to import either the video that you already have or we need to import something that you've already recorded before using Camtasia, the Camtasia recorder. So how do we do that? We either click on import media here on top or we go into the menu, file and import media. Now we'll open up another window uh, that shows you where you can import your media from. So I've already made a recording some time back of a tutorial in Lightroom, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to get a few images, I'm going to get another video and one audio. This is just for an example sake, so that's why I'm importing all of this. And I'm going to say open. Now here you can see whatever you imported shows up here. This is the order in which it goes. The first thing that's going to show up is obviously a Camtasia recorded file. Then it's going to be images, then audio, and then video. So right now I've got an MP4 here, but that's how the order is. So how do we get started on editing videos? First thing we need to do is we need to add either, either the video or the recording in your timeline, which is right here at the bottom. How do we do that? We can either click on the recorded, on the recording, or the video and drag it onto your timeline. I'm just going to undo that. Or we can right click and say add timeline, add to timeline at playhead. So you can see it's been added here. Now by default when you record something using Camtasia it records system audio as well, that's any noise your system makes, but you can easily uncheck that or once you import your video onto the timeline, you can directly delete it. So you can see here, I've clicked on system audio, I'm going to right click and say delete and I'm going to move my video to the first track. Now here you can see the preview is showing up and if I press play, it'll show you here what happens. So the first thing you notice right here is this video does not fill up the full screen. That's because right now the resolution is at 800 and 600. But this recording is in HD which is 1280, 720. So what do we do? We click on dimensions, go into custom and say 1280, 720. That's what we've recorded this in. So. and now we can extend it onto the full screen. Or if you don't want to extend it and it shows up like this, you can just delete, go back and add it again. And again delete system audio, bring the video to track 1. So this is how it goes, you can keep adding tracks and uh, 
whatever's on top will show up first. Like if you have right now our main videos on track one, but if I add something on top here or here, playhead goes over that. The thing on top is gonna show. So for example, uh, I add an image here. I add it on top. When the play playhead comes to that part of the video, the image is going to show. So it's it's like a basic thing. Anything on top shows first. So that's how it is. So anything that you add, like captions or text or anything, will be on top of the video, obviously, for it to show. Now, if I add the video on top and add an image below, no matter the length of the image, what happens, the video is going to play and you won't see the image because it's below the video. If I bring that on top, you're going to see it on top. So that's how it is. Anything on top shows first. Okay, so right now we've learnt how to add videos onto the timeline and we've changed resolution here using the editing dimensions button here on top. So now we're going to look at we're going to look at basic video editing. That's cutting certain parts of the video and uh, deleting them, or adding another video on top. So let's just say I don't want this video from here to about here. So what do I do? I need to cut that part out. So I bring the playhead there on the video. I can right click and say split or the shortcut is S. So I'm going to right click and say split. I'm going to go to the other part of the video. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click and say split again. Now what happens if this video is not selected? Then when you right click, you can't say split, but you can say split all. That's if there are just say four tracks here and you don't want to select all four, just select none, go on top and say split all. So you can see even though it's not selected, it's been split. Or just select that video, right click and say split. Alright, now we've split this video and uh, let's say I don't want this. So I'm going to right click and say delete. Now you can see there's this empty space here. So what do I need to do? I need to bring this part of the video to this part. So I'm just going to select this and drag it. It's that simple. So now you can see we go from this part of the video directly to this part. And that's how simple it is. So that's the basic video editing. We've removed a part of the video that we do not want. Now let's say I want to add some more video content at the end. What do I do? I can directly go on to whatever I imported. I can right click and say add to timeline at playhead. Or I can undo that and drag and drop. Now when you say, why does it say uh, add to timeline at playhead? Because, let's just say you want to add the video here. I'm going to right click and say add a timeline and playhead. And by default, it's going to add the video on top because this video is not split. This full thing is one. And you want to add this video here. So I can undo that. And go to the end. Right click. Add a timeline. Add playhead. And that's how it is. So you've seen how to edit a part of the video out. You've seen how to add another video onto it. And you've seen that anything on top shows up first. So that's how simple it is. And the next thing we're going to look at is this library function. So right now we're in Clippin. Clippin shows you everything that you've already imported into Camtasia. That's all your recorded files, images, audio, and video. Now we go into library. 
So Camtasia gives you a lot of free stuff that you can use in your videos, like uh, music, like intros, and however long you want. Like you can see your your intro here is 17 seconds, and you have a short that's 33, one minute two, and goes under that. Or you can go into themes and add an intro for your video. Uh, to see any of these uh, intros, all you need to do is double click. So you see I double clicked and it shows you what the intro looks like. You can see this. So let's just say I have my video ready here, I have my video edited and now I want an intro. So I can just use this because this comes free with Camtasia. So I'm going to right click and say add to timeline at playhead. Now what this does is it adds it on top. So what you can do is select your video and move it because you want your full video to play after the intro. So here you can see now while playing the intro it says enter title here. How do you enter? How do you change that? You can see this tiny plus button on top. It says open or close group. Select that and it shows you what's in that group. So you can see your video and you have text. So double click on the text and add anything you want. I'm going to move it here. Underline it. Whatever, you can add anything you want. It's like your proper text editing tool. And once you're done with that, you can minimize it. And then whatever changes you made shows up here. It's that simple. Now let's say you want to add some audio to that introduction. Get the playhead there. You can right click and say add to timeline at playhead. So right now when you play this introduction your audio plays as well. So here again this is why I'm saying this is one of the most popular e-learning tools because it not only lets you record whatever happens in your screen but it lets you edit the videos and lets you add cool stuff like this. So right now any tutorial that you see online on anything Photoshop, Lightroom, Excel, whatever it is it's most probably made on Camtasia. This tool is amazing. If you don't know, if you're not into making tutorials and you just want to use this to edit videos, you can. It's really simple and it's really easy to use. So what have we seen so far? We've seen how Camtasia looks. We've seen how to import stuff. We've seen how to preview it. We've seen how to add stuff here on the timeline and make basic edits to your video. So next, we're going to look at adding callouts. Now callouts are really fun to use and they make your videos a lot better. Like you want to highlight certain part of the video you can, you want to add arrows, tiny animations, text, whatever it is you can using callouts. So next we're going to look at callouts.